Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the small battery in a car that's powered by a big battery in a Tesla Model 3 or Y, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So first off, if you click this video, you're probably thinking, this is an EV. It's a huge battery to begin with, so why are we talking about a 12 volt battery? It's a good question, and you're right, but along with the big battery, the Teslas also have 12 volt batteries just like your ICE cars. Now why do Teslas have 12 volt batteries when we know they're EVs and basically they're massively huge batteries you know, rolling around the street? So to answer that, pretty much on the Tesla Model 3 and Y, they have 2170 batteries which are basically in the skateboard design, which is under the car. And all those batteries are pretty much used to power the motors only. And then pretty much everything else is powered by the 12 volt battery. And this is a little bit off topic, but since I mentioned that the 2170 batteries are the batteries that power the three and the Y, coming up here pretty soon, they're gonna switch to the 4680 batteries, which are a new design, a new tabless design that they came up with. And instead of putting it in the skateboard design under the car, they're gonna structurally format it you know, as part of the frame of the car. And basically that makes the frame more solid and keeps the battery safer and allows for more batteries and more room to be able to put more batteries in that space. Okay, so now back to the 12 volt battery. So if we know that the 2170 batteries power the motors, what does this 12 volt battery do? Well, it basically powers everything else. So it powers your interior lights, it powers your screen, it powers your socket um, inside the car, and pretty much everything else. So then another question you might ask is, does this 12 volt battery need to be maintenance? The answer is no. The battery pretty much takes care of itself, just like in your ICE car. And then another question you might ask yourself is in these ICE cars, the 12 volt batteries are rechargeable via the alternator. So how does that work with a Tesla? Well, the answer is basically that the main batteries do power the uh, 12 volt battery from time to time per the owner's manual when it needs to be charged up a little bit. But just like your standard 12 volt batteries in your ICE cars, the 12 volt batteries in the Teslas are not lithium ion like the main battery packs. They're made out of lead acid. And I found this decision kind of interesting from Tesla, as we know that lithium ion batteries, that format or that chemistry is kind of the future here. And lead acid is a really old technology. But I think the reason why they did that is because uh, lithium ion batteries are pretty expensive, whereas lead acid batteries are pretty cheap. And so they probably just put lead acid batteries in there as a form of cost savings. And I think this hurts the cars a little bit because you will hear lots of stories about the 12 volt battery dying. And it's pretty much the Achilles heel of a Tesla. Typically, lead acid batteries last about four to five years. And as I mentioned, it is the Achilles, it is the Achilles heel of a Tesla because if the 12 volt battery dies, you're pretty much dead in the water. So remember I said that the 12 volt battery powers everything but the motors. That includes your door handles. So if your 12 volt battery dies, you can't even open your doors. However, in an OTA update last year sometime, the screen does tell you when the battery is low and needs to be changed. And it'll say something like 12 volt battery needs service soon. So if you get that notification, definitely get your 12 volt battery changed as soon as possible. That way you don't get stranded and the car doesn't just die on you. So when I get that message, I'm definitely gonna get a lithium ion 12 volt battery and there's a number of reasons for this. While a lithium ion 12 volt battery is pretty expensive, it's way more durable than your lead acid batteries and will last infinitely longer than those lead acid batteries. You can think of these lithium ion batteries as lasting the lifetime of the car, just like your batteries that power the motors, because lithium ion batteries can handle thousands of more recharge cycles than lead acid batteries. Another good thing is that lithium ion batteries are less toxic to the earth, and on top of that, you don't need to make as many of them to begin with because they last a lot longer. And one last thing is that they are quite a bit lighter than lead acid batteries, about one third of the weight. It's about a nine pound battery compared to the standard 12 volt that's in the Tesla Model 3, which is about 27, 28 pounds. So in the EV world, we always talk about efficiency. And so having a lighter battery is nice. I don't know if it's gonna make that much difference. It's only like 20-ish pounds, but still it's better than nothing. So if you need a new 12 volt battery, definitely look into the brand Omu as they think they are one of the only brands that make lithium ion 12 volt batteries for Teslas. So I'm definitely gonna get one of these 12 volt batteries when my 12 volt dies. And of course I'll link you guys in the description to the battery. And since I'm a car guy, I will definitely be doing a tutorial on this. So when my 12 volt battery dies, 
I will make a tutorial and look forward to that video, you know, sometime in the future. And just so you know up front, changing the 12 volt battery in a Tesla is pretty much the same thing as changing it on an ICE car. It's pretty straightforward and not very hard. So now knowing that you can fix the Achilles heel of a Tesla by getting a lithium ion 12 volt battery, are you going to spend the extra money to do that? Or are you going to keep buying lead asset batteries that are cheaper and keep replacing those? That way you don't have to spend as, of, as much money up front. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.